All right. I'm just trying to take something down. Okay, so for this question, students will ask you write short notes on proteins. Write short notes on proteins. So this is proteins, different types of proteins that we have. Proteins could be meat, could be nuts, could be beans, could be eggs, and all of that. So you actually write, if you just randomly write short notes on proteins, it's kind of confusing, right? Because you don't even know where to start from. So that's why we actually arranged it accordingly. So we talk about proteins from introduction to structure to functions and importance of what proteins to the human body. All right. So for introduction, we say that proteins are actually what essential biomolecules. So if they are essential, you can't do without them. They are essential biomolecules made up of what different different individual amino acids. And these amino acids are linked by peptide bonds. Okay? So now here are some key structures, or sorry, key points about proteins. We start from the structure. I'm sorry I didn't actually bring the picture of the structure, but everybody knows the structure of proteins now. That primary structure, the secondary structure is when they are folded, alpha helix, beta sheet, tertiary one is three dimension, the quaternary subunit. It's very simple. So for the primary structure, uh, the linear sequence of amino acid in a polypeptide chain. So for primary structure, it's just different amino acids linked together and they are linear on a straight line. There's no folding, there's no turn turn. All right. Then for secondary structure, this one is the folding of that polypeptide chain into alpha helix and beta sheets. So this folding is now stabilized by hydrogen bonds. Okay. Then talking about the tertiary structure, tertiary structure is more of like a three-dimensional shape of the protein. And it's formed by what interactions between the R groups. Those are actually what the side chains of the amino acid. Okay. Then quaternary structure. This one is assembly of multiple polypeptide chains into a functional protein complex. We call them subunits. Okay. So what are the functions of these proteins? Uh, they could perform enzymatic functions. So they could catalyze biochemical reactions. Examples include amylase, lactase. Okay. They could perform structural functions. So they provide what support and shape to cells and tissues. Examples of proteins that perform this is what? Collagen, keratin, and rest. Transport. Proteins, they could carry what? Molecules across cell membranes or through the bloodstream. Example, we have things like what? Hemoglobin transporting oxygen. We have albumin too. All right? Then defense. Proteins can form part of the immune system, like antibodies. Okay? Regulatory role. Proteins are involved in gene expression and signal transduction. All right? So hormones like what? Insulin. Then, um, for the overall importance of the proteins, of course, the importance can be what derived from their functions. Okay, so proteins are actually crucial for virtually every process in the body, including growth, repair, immune response, maintaining cellular structure, function. Okay, so you see how important proteins are. So that's a notes on proteins. Okay. Structure, functions, importance, like that. So that's it, guys.